Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss the solution of week 7 of database management system. For the first question, the answer is option C. For the second question, the answer is option D. For the third question, the answer is option C. For the fourth question, the answer is option D. For the fifth question, the answer is option D. For the sixth question, the answer is option C. For the seventh question, we have been given four transaction with the following timestamp and we have to find the correct statement in respect of weight tie deadlock prevention scheme. So in the weight tie deadlock prevention scheme, the older transaction may wait for the younger one to release the data item, which means the older means the small uh, the transaction which is having the smaller timestamp and the younger transaction will never wait for the older ones they are rolled back instead so the transaction t1 and t2 which is having the smaller timestamp are older and they will be waiting for the transaction t3 to release and the t4 transaction which is having the timestamp greater than t3 so it will roll back so for this Answer is option B and D. For the question 8, we have been given two transactions with the exclusive lock on A and we have to find out which of the statements is correct. So the T1 will unlock the exclusive mode lock before the commit and it will unlock the exclusive mode after commit. So it will follow the strict two-phase locking protocol but not rigorous two-phase locking protocol. Similarly, T2 will unlock the share mode lock before the commit and will unlock the exclusive mode after the commit. That's why it will also follow the two-phase locking protocol and not the regress phase locking protocol so for this answer is option A for the ninth question we have been given two schedules S1 and S2 and we have to identify which of the following schedule will suffer from deadlock so in S2 the T1 has acquired a shared mode lock on A and shared mode lock on B and T2 releases that lock on data items A and B. Then T2 wants to acquire the exclusive mode lock on A and exclusive mode lock on B granted to T2 and no deadlock occurs in S2 but in S1 uh, deadlock will occur and the reason is specified here so for this answer is option b that is s1 will suffer from deadlock and s2 will not suffer for the 10th question the following schedule s1 and s2 are given and we have to find which of the following statements are true for the above schedules s1 and s2 so for the schedule to be recoverable, if the transaction TJ reads a data item previously written by a transaction TI, then the commit operation of TI must appear before the commit operation of TJ. And for a schedule to be cascadeless, for each pair of the transaction TI and TJ, such that the TJ will read the data item previously written by TI and the commit operation of TI will appear before the read operation of TJ. So in this case, in H2, T2 read the data item X written by T1 
and T1 is committed before the reading of X by T2. Hence the schedule is recoverable as well as cascadeless. But in case of T1, sorry, but in case of S1, the T2 reads the data item written by T1 and T1 is never committed. So the schedule is neither recoverable nor cascadeless. So for the 10th question, the answer is option C and D. If you found the video helpful, do like the video and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and if there is any changes in the answer, I will pin it in the comment section. So before the final submission of your assignment, please check the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.